Hey everybody, it's Vika from Bad Health Monologues. So it was supposed to be Tasty Tuesday today, but because I had to go to the emergency room earlier today for someone that's not myself, and because I'm developing some sort of head cold, I decided to talk about something that I noticed with my condition and about how people reacted to my condition and something that I'm quite passionate about and that's going to be like related to body image and weight. Rant. Warning. So basically my condition, I got diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome dash D. I'll let you fill in that blank. I'm going to just say that like because of the gluten intolerance that I also have, I just lost a lot of weight because I didn't know this was the problem. Whoops. Um, I had a lot of reactions to losing weight. A lot of positive reaction to losing a lot of weight in a short period of time, which is okay. You just, if someone is sick, don't tell them like, wow, you look great because you lost a lot of weight. That's probably not what they want to be hearing, okay? We know we're actually probably terrified that we're losing this weight and not very happy about it because it's not like it was my decision to lose it. I'm just losing it because I'm sick. This is why I'm bringing this up because we're so focused on weight loss, like Weight Watchers, we have, you know, like these protein shakes and then the juicings and the cleansings and the, all of this crap to try and help you lose weight faster and like take antioxidants and I'll help you lose weight faster, take green tea and I'll help you lose, oolong tea is good for the weight. So many things are related to weight loss and it's just to mention that like not all weight loss is a good thing, you know, I think eating disorders can speak for that on its own and then we also have illness like you know when someone has cancer and they can't eat because they feel nauseous all the time that weight loss is not a good thing i think that as a society like we should probably take the focus away from weight because there's sort of this understanding now with our society that your beauty is directly related to how much you weigh which is absurd if you're on medication that makes you gain a lot of weight like you're going to feel like you've lost your beauty even though it's still there the fact that we talk about weight and numbers is scary because we're teaching children that are maybe as tall as i am to be an unhealthy weight that can literally kill them there's also people who are severely underweight who are being praised for their lack of weight when Maybe they don't even want this at all, like me, like, oh my goodness, you look so thin. That's terrifying for me. I don't want to hear that. It's a really scary moment when somebody mentions it to you because then you know someone else is noticing that something isn't right. There's a cat. You know, even if my cat's pudgy, I still think that she's beautiful. Look at their face. Okay, awkward cat is awkward. Cat aside, there's also the fact that very, like, like, like I said earlier, like, I'm tall. I weigh more than just somebody else that's gonna be the same size, like, measurement-wise as me in circumference. I'm going to weigh, like, 20, 30 pounds more than them. That's just normal. And there's also muscle mass. The number we see on the scale is just a number. It does not represent our beauty. It is not a number that represents our health. It is not a number that represents anything other than how much mass we are. That's all it is. It's just the amount of mass that is on our body. Nothing else is related to any of that. At this point, I would just urge people to sort of use critical thinking and to thinking about how they view weight. Not everybody wants to be thin and not everybody wants to be overweight and not everybody has a choice to lose or to gain. Unless somebody tells you that is a medical practitioner that says your weight is li directly linked to this detriment inside your health, then who fucking cares? Nobody should tell you what you weigh. Nobody should tell you if you look good or if you look bad. Relative to your weight either, everybody can be beautiful in their own way. And there's always somebody out there that will find somebody beautiful for the way they look. I'm not telling you that you need to say, everybody is beautiful in my eyes. I'm not saying that you need to start saying like, man, you know what I like? Fat people. I dig it. Even though you don't. That's fine. If you don't want to be with somebody that is overweight, that's fine. It's totally fine to be into whatever you want, but do not discourage the people who are finding these other body types beautiful, they are allowed to have their own opinion as well. You think skinny is beautiful? Good for you. They think that fat is beautiful, and that's also great for them. 
we shouldn't work against each other on this battle we should be working together. I just want to thank you all for being really attentive to these rants of mine and taking them seriously because making money off of people's insecurities kinda sucks. So tomorrow is Marching March Wednesday which I can honestly tell you guys I haven't really been keeping up with uh, because I've been so busy with school and life. So on that note I'm going to say, if you haven't followed me on Facebook yet, the link is in the description box down below. If you would like to subscribe and follow me on to my journey towards better physical and mental health, I am hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you have a great end of your day. Bye!